So how can you have skinny people with type two diabetes? And this is uh, something that's often called TOFI or TOFI, which is thin on the outside, fat on the inside. The fat that's in your body is not all the same. So there are certain types of fat that are much more deleterious to your health than others. We divide it into two types of fat, subcutaneous fat, which is under the skin, and visceral fat, which is the fat that is concentrated really around the midsection and in and around the organs, such as the liver and the pancreas. And it's really this visceral fat that is detrimental to health. Fat inside the fat cell, such as the subcutaneous fat, is okay because that's where the fat is designed to be stored. But fat inside organs is not okay because that's not where the fat is designed to store. So if you have fat clogging up your liver and clogging up your pancreas, it is going to be a problem, whereas fat sitting inside a fat cell is not as bad or not nearly as bad. So if you look at the definitions of the metabolic syndrome, for example, it does not contain a, uh, a, um, a problem with the body mass index. It actually has a criteria for the, uh, the waist circumference instead because that is actually much more tightly correlated to poor health because the fat that you accumulate around your waist is much more detrimental to your health. And that's how you have Asians, for example, uh, have a very uh, typically lower body mass index uh, when they develop type 2 diabetes compared to, say, a Caucasian population, and it's because that fat is being stored inside their organs where it shouldn't. So even though their weight may be so-called normal, they still can have type 2 diabetes. And so on the flip side of that, that also means that you can have somebody who is quite massively obese and yet not have type 2 diabetes. And we see that all the time. Uh, an estimated 20% of obese people are actually metabolically normal. So you could have somebody who is quite overweight yet have no type 2 diabetes compared to a so-called normal weight person who does have type 2 diabetes. And the difference between the two is really the difference of where that fat is stored. Is it stored in the viscera fat or is it stored in the subcutaneous fat?